All right, we, I am going to begin to show you how to do the one needle flat stitch. And I recommend if you're going to do one needle flat stitch using a thinner thread like size A because you're going to be running the needle back through the beads and so that will stabilize the beads because it'll be thicker at the end. So we are going to start right here. And then after I do a few lines about halfway through, I'm going to switch to the two needle to show you the difference. <clears throat> So what you do is you use the needle, place your beads where they need to be, and then tack down. And then what you're going to do is come back up halfway through. And I would do it every two just to make sure that there's no buckling. You come back through halfway and then you're going to take the needle and push it back through these last two beads and then tighten so just get your thumb in there and tighten it down and then we're going to add another four I haven't really mastered this technique because I usually just do two needle flat stitch. I kind of find it to be a little bit harder to control your design, but I think maybe if I just worked at it, I could probably get it down. So this is, sorry, there we go. Okay, so then we're gonna come back up halfway Try to get it as in the middle of the beads as you possibly can. Tighten it a little bit and then we're going to come back through these last two beads. <clears throat> and also, I use... Oh, look at there's coffee stains on there. Okay, anyways. <laughs> um, I use a easy felt, it's called. I get it for... 99 cents at Hobby Lobby. It's nice and thick. It's sturdy and it seems to hold up well with all the beading that's going on. So we'll do another four and then I'm going to switch to, well actually I'll just do this whole line. So every four beads. So we're going to throw four on there. Sometimes if that will happen, all you got to do is come back and tighten everything up. Okay. I think it's better to just make sure that the thread's all the way tight and then pass it through the beads at the end. Okay. I'm not a big fan of the one needle flat stitch technique. I don't know, I just feel like, especially if you're doing a design I don't know it's 
you don't I don't feel like you have as much control over your beating because kind of once you tack everything down if you make a mistake then you gotta pull it back out again and start over so I mean I'm it's all right but anyways I'm showing you just so y'all know one needle flat stitch okay kind of go I don't really want to go over that so and since there's only three beads I'm just gonna come back over here and tack this last one tack it down instead of going passing it through the knee the bead I'm just gonna tack it down over the top of the thread that'll seem to work okay so that's one needle flat stitch and now I will show you two needle flat stitch so here's my second needle I'm using a thicker thread I use a size D I um, Nemo Nemo is a really good brand because it doesn't fray if you're passing your needle through a lot the thread doesn't fray very much so this is a double thread right there okay and we will start this one oops so what i do is here's the the thicker double size d thread and I'm going to bead off the hank because that makes things go a little bit faster, especially if you don't get stuff. So I'm just gonna grab, especially if you're doing just kind of one color filling in, I feel like just grabbing your beads off the hank kind of makes things go faster, just slightly. So there I kind of measuring it up. <clears throat> Okay, so let's see. I'm probably going to take about four off there. See now, you can just take off the beads you don't want to use. That was a little bit more than I wanted. I'm going to come over here and grab these darker colors because I want to start accentuating. There we go. That looks about the right size so this is where what I do is I make sure it kind of measures up and then what I'm going to do is wrap this lead thread around my fingers so I get kind of like a nice tight grip so I just try to get comfortable and wrap it and then I'm going to take the second thread okay if you're having trouble kind of hanging on to it and it's an awkward angle what you can do is just tack it down come back over here tack this bead line down If it's an awkward angle, this seems to help a little bit. And then come back and still kind of loosely wrap it right here and use your thumb right here to guide the beads. So then this is where we take the second needle and we're going to start tacking it down. And to kind of go a little bit faster, 
and um, I use my index finger as a guide so that way I don't have to flip it over and look every single time I want to pass my needle through. See how close I get to my finger and that's just habit now. <laughs> it's just a habit that I've created kind of makes things go a little bit faster but you do have to be careful you don't poke yourself in the finger which does happen a lot. So the big issue when using a two needle flat stitch technique is tension I believe. The tension that you use creates you know the beads are already kind of different sizes and they're kind of going to be bubbly and want to do all kinds of stuff but tension really helps whether or not it um it's going to be buckly or not so you have to get the tension correctly on this lead thread the bead thread the main thread and the tension so the tension between the tacking thread and the bead thread have to kind of be even like balanced you want it to be tight so the beads aren't going all over the place but you don't want it to be very loose so you kind of have to be right in the middle and as I'm going along I see that these beads are buckling but it will straighten out when you tack it down And you can also just straighten them out with your thumbs too. And as I'm going along, every time you make a stitch, you are moving these beads further along. So sometimes it won't be, they'll be too much. So you have to kind of go and do it and take a, take a bead out or use a smaller bead so it fits all in there without buckling. I feel like there's a lot more control when you use the two needle flat stitch method. Um, you can take things out, especially if you're doing like some, an intricate design where you have to, you know, measure things up together to get straight lines. That This is when it's a really good um, way to bead. especially okay so we're getting towards the end and it looks like it's not going to it looks like it's gonna fit so I'm just gonna leave it but if it looks like it's gonna get buckly and there's too much beads you can just take the lead thread out as an example I'll just take it out right here this way your beads don't get all buckled up so I just took the beat the bead out and I'm gonna find just a smaller bead right here these last two beads I'll find tinier beads and that way it'll fit nice nicely mm. there we go okay so I found a couple smaller beads and hopefully it'll stick in there nice ni nicely it'll ta-da if you don't have thinner uh like say if you only have size d thread i recommend just doing um your tacking needle side not doubling it up because when you double it up you get these big thread gaps in between your beads and nobody wants to see threads. So what I do is I just leave one side. I don't double up my thread and it's pretty easy method to just have like a one. I don't even know. So 
So we're coming right here to the end. And that is how you do two needle flat stitch and the one needle flat stitch. And everything seems to be pretty good. See the difference kind of this one needle, it's a little bit more bucklier. And I mean, that may be due to me not really mastering it. But the difference is with this one, it's a lot more straighter. And see, the beads are a lot more tighter. And I and I tacked it down every two beads. And this is tacked down every two beads too, but it's a little bit looser. And that's why I don't usually like using it. This is a lot more tighter. Alrighty, thank you.